Hi, my name is Paul Thompson. I thought I would share my robot trash can with you guys. Uh, it basically is a gag for Halloween. So it's a prop that you can use to scare people and chase people and do kinds of kind of whatever you want to do with it. Uh, first of all, it's a real metal trash can. Um, and uh, essentially what it does is it has a speaker inside. So it sounds like there's a cat inside. Um, the cat meowing kitten and has different there's different versions of it but the the cat meowing draws people to the trash can um, the trash can also shakes back and forth and that shaking kind of makes people a little bit nervous uh, but what it does is it kind of timidly gets them to try to lift the lid to see if they're what's inside of it um, at that point the trash can will uh, start to bang the lid really hard um, and then it will also, uh, once they take off running, the trash can will chase them. So it will bang and chase them and, and uh, run after them as much as possible. On occasion, somebody might get a little unruly and lash out at it. Uh, but again, it's a metal trash can and this thing can really take a beating. So my plan is to take this thing apart, show you how it works, and hopefully you'll wind up being able to make a, your own metal trash can that scares and chases people uh, for Halloween. Okay, first step was to remove the bag. Uh, bag was really there to you know hide the internals and also kind of protect it if somebody actually threw something away in there. Quick peek inside uh, of the can here. The uh, first thing you see is the pouch for the remote and an extra battery. Uh, all of the electronics are contained within inside the can and there's lots of room to add extra stuff if you'd like um, But we'll be pulling this all apart to show you how everything works These two screws are what hold the cans uh, lid on uh, it's attached directly to the body or the back of the can uh, loosen the bolts and uh, simply pull off the lid This wooden board uh, also has to be removed. Uh, it's secured by two screws. Uh, once they're removed, you can just lift that board uh, directly out of the can. Uh, once the board is out, it uh, gives you access to all the rest of the electronics. The motors need to be disconnected from the main electronics. Uh, the battery needs to be disconnected um, and battery can be removed at this point and then everything should lift directly out of the can pretty easily. All right, the can itself, if we look down into it, has two motors that uh, obviously control the uh, wheel movement and all of that good stuff. You'll also notice the um, PVC pipe inside of there. That PVC is connected to the bottom of the can as well uh, to give us uh, a way to kind of hold the superstructure inside of the can. the bottom of the can is got a piece of hardwood on there and the motors are bolted directly to that piece of hardwood it's actually the the board is actually bolted to the bottom of the can and then the motors are bolted to the board uh, additionally i added two low profile uh, casters okay as you can see it's all built on a pvc frame um really just to kind of keep everything contained into one spot in the center of the trash can. Um, the brains to this whole operation are really, is really this piece right here. This, uh, I, I wanted a small remote for, uh, to, to conceal and allow me to, to hide very close to the trash can, if you will. Um, and I can just palm this pretty, pretty easily without anybody noticing what I'm doing. And this, is connected to this board right here. This board, it's a little pricey, but it's called a stealth controller. It was made for the R2 Builders group. Um, for people who wanted to control an R2-D2 that wanted to be a little bit more stealthy about it. Um, there's a, a good friend of mine made these boards and, and sells them. And um, I'll put a link in the description that, that tells where you can get that if you're interested in this. This also though could be controlled by something simple like a standard RC receiver. So you'd have this RC receiver, uh, which would connect to a kind of a standard radio, and you could do 
basically the exact same thing uh, with this. The nice thing about this board here is it has sound on board with it. So I, from that same small remote, I can trigger sound effects um, and it will play. With this, you're not gonna be able to do that, but you could also solve that problem with a very simple, um, you know, Bluetooth speaker and an app on your phone and you just press a button and you'd get the same kind of an effect. Um, you probably get a wider range of sounds too by doing something simple like that. Um, but for me, I wanted something that was small and could fit in my hand and I could hide very, very close to the to the robot itself. Um, so that's what all of this is here. This is all connected to a amp in the back here. So you'll see the amp here. So that board is connected to this so that allows the sound to play through the speaker. Um, so you would need all of that if you're gonna if you're gonna do the same setup as I have here. Uh, beyond that, um, it's pretty simple in terms of what is actually happening here. So this board or this receiver would then be connected to these two speed controllers. These are both two channel speed controllers. Um, this one right here is controlling the motors on the trash can itself that are driving it around. This speed controller here controls this motor, which spins an off-center weight. This off-center weight causes the trash can to shake. This motor right behind the speed controller, which controls this, causes this PVC pipe to come up and hit the top of the lid. So there's nothing, the lid is just sitting there. So it's connected to the trash can so it doesn't fall off, but basically the this pipe is hitting that lid rather than the lid slamming down on the trash can, which is a little bit safer than um, for anybody getting their fingers in there or anything like that. Okay, with everything back inside, the motor's re-hooked up and the battery attached. Uh, you can see the power switch right there. Uh, it's attached to the top of the frame. Uh, it does take a couple minutes or a minute to reinitialize. Uh, but once that's done, uh, you have full control of the motors and the uh, drive and everything. So uh, you'll see the spinning of the off-center weight, shaking the can, uh, and also how the PVC pipe comes up and slams the, the top of the lid. Thank you.